Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is inspired by an email that I received recently from a lady in Oklahoma named Jerrica. Thank you for your email, Jerrica. And today we are gonna be answering some of your questions. And if you are thinking about getting into real estate, if you're curious about what all of that entails or what the first steps are, what the process is, if you're considering getting your license, definitely keep on watching because you probably have a lot of these same questions as well. These are actually questions that I receive often. So just bundling it all up in one video um, for you guys who are considering getting into the business. While you're at it, definitely um, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you get a lot more free real estate related content. I'm going to do this Q&A style. So I'm just going to read off um, the question. And then as usual, I typed out the, my response in the note section in my phone. So I'm staring at my phone the whole time or a lot. That is why I already typed up my response because um, it's just easier for me to gather my thoughts that way. And that's just how I normally shoot my videos. So I'm gonna read the question and then read my answer. First question was, how long will it take after I get my license to actually get a client? And my response is that that is completely up to you. Um, when I got my license, so I obtained my license in October, I think it was mid-October, maybe the end of October, and I had my first listing by the end of November. It was a for sale by owner, of course. And we had an offer on that home, so listed it in November, and then got an offer beginning of December, and then it ended up closing in January. It went really smoothly. Actually, like I remember crying when I got the first offer on it. I was so excited and I really didn't think it would sell because honestly, it was a little over market value. But when I got my license, it was 2015. And so we were able to get away with listing homes a little bit over market value and the market would catch up to them. And oftentimes they would even still sell, uh, which definitely isn't the case nowadays. That's not the case in uh, fall of 2019. Things have certainly changed. Um, and that's another thing you might wanna take into consideration with how long it's gonna take you to get your paycheck. Um, you know, the average days on market. The average days on market were a little bit shorter in 2015 than they are now in 2019, going into 2020. It's almost 2020 now. So um, just a couple of things to consider. So it took me about three months of working before I got my first paycheck um, or commission check and that is moving things pretty quickly honestly most people don't get their lice their listing first listing within a month of being licensed but if you're working with what I consider the best and fastest form of business aka for sale by owners and expired listings as well um, it is definitely possible when I first got into the business there were so many for sale by owners my first all my first listings were for sale by owners. That's all that I did. Only form of prospecting um, was Fizbo's. And now I'm definitely seeing less for sale by owners out there. That being said, I'm still prospecting to them every week. Absolutely. There's less to call, but I'm still prospecting to them. I still think they are an excellent source of business and I would definitely encourage any new agent to start out with for sale by owners. But we have definitely incorporated expired listings into our business as well because i think that as we continue to move from a super hot seller's market slowly into a bit more of a buyer's market i think we're going to start seeing more and more expired listings i've already been seeing that um so i think now is an excellent time to start learning the skill of prospecting to expired listings and throw that in there too with your fizbos if you haven't done so already where was i all I know is that I prospected every day and worked way, way harder in those first couple of years for much less money than I do now. Our work schedule is so different now than it was when I first got started, thankfully. And we make a lot more for working a lot less. And I really, um, but, but starting out, that was kind of a big motivation for me was knowing um, like, yes, you're gonna have to really hustle the first couple years, but just one of the main things that kept me going and one of the main reasons why I was so okay with that and so motivated to work so much was because I knew it's not gonna be like this forever. You're doing it um, for the long term so that eventually you can make your business a little more turnkey and a little more, um, of course, you're always gonna have to be working in it, but um, yeah, I don't know if any of that made sense, but another little rant. <laughs> um, okay. I would say to count on six months of 
uh, not getting paid realistically, even if you're working hard. So have that money saved up um, and especially have that correct expectation because, you know, I, I think that that could be possibly one of the reasons why so many realtors fail, why so many of them get out of the business um, so early and just don't end up making it work is because they get discouraged because they've gone six months without a paycheck. And I think that you have to just go into it. Um, of course, I always want to expect the best and set goals for the best and work for towards the best. But worst case scenario, you have to be okay with the fact that it might take you six months and um, don't let that discourage you and don't let that ch cause you to get out of the business if this truly is what you want to do. If it's not what you want to do, you get into it, you find out it's not for you, then like whatever, get out of the business. Next question. My husband is active duty, so we move a lot. Will I have to retake the real estate course at every place we move to? Um, my answer is that depends on how far you're moving. If you're just moving to another town that is in the same state, no, you won't have to retake the test. But if you are moving to another state, yes, you will have to retake the test um, for that particular state. I am only licensed in Oregon at this point in time, so I can sell real estate anywhere in the state of Oregon if I were to move um, you know, say I were to move to central Oregon or, uh, another part of the, um, the state, then I wouldn't have to get another license. But if I were to move to California, I'd have to get another license to be able to sell real estate there as well. How long does the real estate course take to complete online? I'm probably not the best person to answer this because I personally didn't take it online. I took it in, um, person at a real estate school here in town, which was super awesome. But I know that um, sometimes doing it online is the best choice and that might be what works best for your schedule or you might learn better that way. I don't, but you might. So my question or my answer was that is completely up to you. I have met some crazy people who got their license very, very fast and just got it over with. And I've also known others who took a whole year to get through the course because they were procrastinating. I'd say you can get it done realistically in a few months. Um, also guys, I am partnered with a really awesome real estate um, online licensing course. So if you are thinking about getting your real estate license and um, you are wanting to do it online or you're wanting to explore that option, if you click on the link below, you will get a discount for, um, for the course if you purchase it through my link, um, which definitely take advantage of because getting your license can be exp an expensive time. There's so many little fees that pop up here and there. So any type of discount you can get, definitely take advantage of that. And like I said, no, I have not used this course. I took the course online, but I have heard really great things about them based off of the reviews I've seen um, and everything that I've heard from this company. I do think that they are worth supporting and um, I do believe that they will be a great company to go through if you choose to go through them to get your license. So click the link below. Um, if you buy the link, um, if you buy the real estate course through my link, you will get a discount. Next question. After I complete the real estate course, do I just go apply to companies near me? Um, after completing the course, you will have to take the exam. That's the fun part. Just kidding. It's not fun at all. Um, after you take the course, you take the real estate exam. And I think that taking the real estate exam is a good way to test your patience and your strength and your, um, what's the word, your stamina to see if you're really motivated to do this because I mean, not just speaking for myself, but from a lot of people that I have seen, it does not normally happen the first time and it can get very discouraging driving back to that court, you know, place you're taking the course time and time again and you think you're never gonna pass. Um, so that can be a good test to see how bad you really want this because I have heard and actually talked to a lot of people who have gone through the real estate school and then never ended up even getting their license because they just got too discouraged when it came to passing the exam. So. If you want this bad enough, you'll take it enough times and do what you gotta do. Um, I guess it's a good way to kind of weed out the people that aren't, I don't know, don't have the stamina for it anyway because this business will really test your strength. Next question. Do you think being in real estate is worth it? Is it worth all the hard work? Okay, let me, let me start over. <laughs> do you think being in real estate is worth all of the hard work that you put into it? And my response to that question, of course, was absolutely. 
I think it is 100% worth it. It is such a rewarding job. You get to help people. You get to meet so many people and be a part of their lives and um, make their lives better if you choose to. And um, it's so rewarding. I could seriously go on forever. Like my response here is pretty long. So you might want to skip forward if you don't care about this question. <laughs> the only reason I could think of why it wouldn't be worth it for you is if this just isn't the right job for you because obviously god made us all differently with different personality traits different gifts different things we enjoy and for some people real estate might be their worst nightmare i know i have friends who would hate being in real estate absolutely hate it sounds like a terrible job for them and but i also know there are other jobs out there that other people absolutely love and i think would be the worst thing ever so everyone's different so maybe it wouldn't be worth it if you're not made um to do real estate, if that makes sense. If the only reason that you want to get into this business is for the flexible schedule, but you don't really enjoy any of the other aspects of the job, there are plenty of other jobs out there that can be flexible too and allow you to take care of your kids from home or whatever it is that you want that flexibility for. Real estate does have an incredible opportunity um, of income. There is no glass ceiling, but it is very expensive. It is a very expensive hobby. And what I mean by that is there are quite a few fees and expensive and expenses involved, just like there are for running any kind of business. So if you're just doing it, um, doing this um, on the side and not really selling any houses, it probably will not be worth your time and money. Just being completely honest. Back to your question about it being worth it though. Yes, I do think it is. At the beginning, you do have to work very hard to get things going and you have to be patient because just like any other business, it will take time. Um, it sometimes can even take years to get your business going. This is a long-term thing. Um, but once you do get it going, you don't have to work all the time anymore. Some agents do. I don't really understand that. Um, or at least you shouldn't. And um, if you do, you're not doing it right in my personal opinion. And the fact that we get to genuinely help so many people, like I mentioned earlier, and be involved in their lives during this time and during a huge transaction is so rewarding and there's nothing like it. Okay, I guess this last question isn't really a question. Um, she just mentioned that she has a toddler and another child on the way. Congratulations, BTW. I do too. What, what, look at that. Anyway, um, so she could use the extra income, which Congratulations all the way. Like, by the way, like I already said, that's super exciting. Very happy for you and your growing family. To comment on this last piece here of her email, um, like I said earlier, just be careful you're not getting into real estate only for the money. Because even though there's a great amount of income opportunity out there, the reality is that the majority of agents hardly make any money at all. It's so true. If you look up how much real estate agents make, like the average income is like nothing. And the reason is because 20% of the agents do 80% of the business. And if you're not willing or able to give it your all at first, then and really have that expectation that this is a marathon, not a sprint, you will get burnt out and quit before you even make any money at all. There are so many other jobs out there, like I said, that you can make some extra money at and are a lot less discouraging and more flexible as well. So um, make sure this really is the job for you. Um, the only reasons you're wanting to get into it um, and the only reason you're wanting to get into it is not just for the money and flexibility um, and then you'll be good to go. So I hope this video encouraged you if you are thinking about getting into the business. Hope it encouraged you for one and also two gave you some clarity, um, gave you more insight if this to know if this is the job for you or not. Um, because I do get emails all the time from you guys saying you want to get into the business, but you don't want to take the time and the money to get your license because it is quite a commitment um, if it's not the job for you. So hopefully that gave you a little more insight into the business. If you um, are thinking about making a move and you live outside of the state of Oregon, contact me and I will set you up with a fantastic real estate agent wherever you live. Even if you live in another country, I got you. And if you are not a real estate agent and you're watching this video and you live inside of the state of Oregon, I would love to help you buy or sell your home. So um, call me, call Spencer. We will get you hooked up and do a great job for you. Either get your home sold or help you purchase your next place. If you watched this whole video, bless your heart, definitely hit the thumbs up because um, obviously you liked it if you like made it this far. And I will see you guys in my next video.